Shania Twain may keep herself away from the public eye much of the time, but it's easier for the singer to do so at her impressive properties. The star reportedly spends most of her time living at her beautiful estate in Switzerland, which overlooks Lake Geneva. Aside from this home, she's kept other residences including a mansion in the Bahamas and homes in Las Vegas as well as her native country Canada. While Shania keeps her home life quite personal, she has given fans some peeks over the years. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Shania Twain is a Canadian singer and songwriter who's one of the best selling artists in country music history. She was also dubbed the leader of the 90s country pop crossover stars, which makes sense when you consider all of her hits. At the time, it's said that Shania has amassed a net worth of about $400 million, which she has invested some of in properties around the world. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment, this time checking out the homes of Shania Twain. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Shania was born in Windsor, Ontario, and raised up north in a small town called Timmins, also in Ontario, following her parents' divorce. It seems that Shania has kept her love for a quiet lifestyle, being a small town girl, and these days, she chooses to spend the majority of her time in Switzerland, where her primary residence is located. Her abode is located in the town of Corso and overlooks Lake Geneva. She lives here with her husband of eight years and their pups. More specifically, her estate is in La Tour de Pays, an area on Lake Geneva which is scenic and relaxing. The town is backed by mountains, a gondola can take you to the top and some picture perfect inns are scattered on the hillside. As you would expect, the views of the lake are amazing from anywhere here. Shania's current home here is actually a much smaller villa than her former home. But because the star is so private, there aren't too many specific details on the place. Before this home, Shania lived in a stunning Swiss castle named Chateau de Sully until 2006, which was originally built by a baron named Bertrand Bouchporn. He had selected an architect from Geneva to construct the estate way back in 1882, and the castle was located on land with sprawling lawns and manicured landscaping. There were multiple terraces, gardens, and more across, but was hidden on a hill and sheltered by trees. What we know about Shania's current home in Switzerland is based on what the singer has shared online. From her rural mansion, you can see across the largest body of water in Switzerland, and we've seen that exact view when Shania took part in an interview view from inside her home. In 2010, we saw what looks like the outdoor space at Shania's property too when she was sharing Christmas wishes. It seemed that the outdoor lounge space featured a comfy armchair and more furnishings surrounding a massive fire pit. There was also a goal set for some soccer games off to one side. Speaking about her life in Switzerland, Shania said, it's a very beautiful region, very scenic. I like to spend a lot of time boating on the lake. In fact, one of the neighboring properties is the studio where Queen spent many, many years writing and recording. Freddie Mercury lived in what is called the Duck House. Well, I think we can understand why she loves her property so much. When Shania and her husband Frederick want to escape somewhere warmer, they do so in style at the amazing Bahamas mansion she owns on the water. Her vacation property is situated in an exclusive and gated community called Old Fort Bay, which boasts a private club and is anchored by the historic Old Fort that dates back to the late 1700s. Shania's beautiful home here boasts 7,000 square feet of space inside with five beds and five baths on a one acre lot also with 150 feet of beachfront. The retreat not only gives off the perfect island getaway vibes much like a resort, but it still feels cozy and welcoming at the same time. The 2004 built home boasts grand common areas including a well laid out kitchen with everything from a breakfast nook to top of the line stainless appliances and a butler's pantry. Not to mention, there's a door here opening to one of the breezy outdoor patios. There's a guest room attached to Shania's kitchen that blends some living areas including a dining room and plush family room, all underneath high wood beam ceilings with a wall of glass that slides away to reveal the beach. Other features in Shania's Bahamas getaway includes a large media room, movie theater, and a stunning master suite with mahogany lined walls 
built-in bookshelves, and wraparound views. When the couple has visitors, there's also plenty of space for them in the guest rooms, which are bright, and boast views of the beach and canal, while there's also the option of a guest apartment. Out back, while there's a sandy beach right in front of you for those pool lovers, there's also a swimming pool and spa. In 2019, it was reported the Stinger was trying to offload the Bahamas property for $10.95 million, but it was taken off the market shortly after. Now, the mansion is apparently back on the market for $12.9 million. Shania may have some beautiful properties, but none in Los Angeles. However, when the star has some business to do or wants to visit the sunny city, her son actually owns a home which she can stay at. Spanning 2,304 square feet of space with three beds and 2.5 baths, there's plenty of space for his mom to come stay whenever she's not across the pond. Her son's property is in a charming neighborhood and boasts a 1961 Ms century modern home was updated and modernized in 2014. The home also has plenty of privacy hidden behind tall redwood gates and while there's not much of a yard, there are great views of LA. The house has the uppermost level as the main floor since it's built on a hillside and the other two floors drop down to the back. This main floor is basically all open plan with skylights and an airy feel along with a fireplace in the living area and a glass sliding door to a balcony. There's also a chic open kitchen. The middle level of the abode is occupied by the master retreat with private office, sprawling walk-in closet, and spa-style bathroom. Well, that about wraps it up for our Shania Twain house tour. While she keeps her main residence in Switzerland highly under wraps, we can tell the country queen is also a real estate pro with luxury properties in places like the Bahamas. Not to mention, while she might not own a place of her own in LA like her son, she does have one in Las Vegas. Considering Shania is currently doing a Las Vegas residency, performing at Planet Hollywood Zappos Theater, she lives in the state of Nevada often too. During her last residency here, Shania was living at a Sin City hotel. This time, she opted for something different. Now, it's reported this singer moved away from the hustle and bustle of the strip to a farm. She told Live with Kelly and Ryan, I'm moving into my new little farm. I always have to have my horses with me and my dogs. I just have to keep my family around me and my animals are part of my family. Well, I totally feel that, Shania. It's also said that Shania owns a secluded home or cottage in the Lake of Bays area in Ontario, but she hasn't shown it to the public yet. Well, after seeing the properties of Shania Twain, or at least a couple of them, what did you guys think? Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!